Hey guys, I'm back with a GoPro tips and tricks editing video. In this video, I'm going to be showing a really simple, easy, quick way to make your GoPro videos look more epic and uh, a lot more like the uh, the videos you see posted on the GoPro channels and uh, GoPro's website and stuff. Um, it's really simple to do. It uses GoPro Cineform Studios and a preset um, filter that you can just throw onto your video clip. So I'm going to show you how to do it. And at the end of this video, I will show you some um, uh, sample video and a comparison between a clip that's had this done to it and that clip without that done to it. So right now what we have is we have GoPro Cineform Studios open. If you don't have GoPro Cineform Studios, you can go ahead, go to the GoPro website and download it. It's free software. It's, uh, it's really powerful. It's made by a GoPro and uh, it's totally free. It doesn't do much editing, but it can. It has a lot of control over the uh, actual clips. So that's what we're going to be using for this video. Uh, on the left here, I have my clips. I've imported them, and then on the right, I've saved a little chunk of them to export so I can edit them later for rendering. So this process, uh, you should be pretty familiar with if you've used GoPro Cineform Studios. Basically, you just select your clip, uh, select where what part of it you want to use, and then if you have to rotate it, you can rotate it down here. So what I've got, I've got my five clips. I've picked five different um, sports, five different activities, so we can kind of play with this filter with um, a various of different um, shots and different angles and different things being recorded. So we've got those over here. We're going to go ahead and just convert them, and then we'll come back and play with the filters. All right, so now all the clips have been converted. There you can see they're all complete, and we can proceed to step two. Uh, now in step two, we have our clips on the left here. And these are the clips I've chosen to play with. So if we just watch one right now, it looks like this. Uh, they're all about five, ten seconds long. Uh, we're going to go ahead then and click on on the right here now. What we have is um, we have a lot of control. We have white balance control. We have imaging controls. This controls con uh, exposure, contrast, saturation, sharpness. And then framing control, which is um, how much zoomed in and the rotation of the image. Um, but what I'm more interested in is below this, there's presets. So these are none, pro tune, 1970s, candy color, all this kind of stuff. Should really check out, I'm just going to use the pro tune one. So if we click on this, you can see it makes the image uh, a lot, it looks a lot darker and it has a lot more contrast. It gives a lot more depth to the, uh, the video clip. So I'm going to go ahead and put pro tune onto all of the um, image or all of the videos and then we will um, I'll render them out and I will put them on the screen now show and with a split screen one half will be without protein and with, with just normal and then the other side will be with this protein filter on and I think you'll be very surprised at how much um, more epic and more exciting and just of a higher quality the image the videos look with this turned on and how much closer to the images or the videos that you see on the uh, GoPro websites and the GoPro YouTube videos these image these video clips are it's um I get a lot of questions actually of people that ask how and why their videos that they shoot don't look like the uh, the GoPro videos and the ones that GoPro post and that's because the editors at GoPro are very good at making that image pop and making that image look really really good and one of the things they've done with Cineform Studios is give you a little bit of a quick cheat here with using these pro, uh, using this protein filter to get to get a look very very similar to that which they use for most of their videos. Well, as we're finishing up the last couple sample clips, I just want to um, tell you guys that well, this was one simple preset. There's lots of other presets that come with Cineform Studios, and there's also a lot more um, advanced and manual control you can have over your video files if you play with those other settings that were on the right hand side of the um, editing step of Cineform Studios there's a lot of power there and a lot of different um, adjustments you can make uh, just to even tune your video clips to that next level and make them just that much better so guys thanks for watching this another GoPro tips and tricks video I hope you've enjoyed it if you have enjoyed it make sure you check out my channel for lots more videos and subscribe until next time Thank you for watching.